What's up, world? Coach Brian Hurst with Coach Sokol here. Coming to you from Fuel House Gym here in Seattle, Washington, with another edition of Fuel House Warrior Recap. Uh, today's practice, we've got a quick warm up, three movements, three rounds, and then a whole lot of fun to be had after. So let's start away. I'll demo, so we'll walk awesome. us through it. All right, guys, we're going to start with the old Spider Man complex push up position. Bring leg up to palm, elbow reach. Work that palm in between your foot, between your palms, a little bit of Spider-Man stretch. Go to the other side, reachy, reachy, boom. Work that leg back in between the palms. You'll do that two on each side. And then we're gonna go into some foundational hinges with a reach. So he's going into his hands, reaching, and then coming through. Good opportunity to match your breathing with your heart style breath if you wanna work some of that in, right? You know, so hinge, reach, wind. There you go, 10 of those, two and two Spider-Mans, 10 of those. And then we're gonna go for a 10 second on each side, one arm, one leg plank, or a plank appropriate to your current level of badassery. There we go, that's it. Nice and square, rooted in. Go through that three times. Obviously, if you need extra warm up, do so, right? This is just kind of a bare minimum. And then we're gonna go into a nice little circuit of single leg deadlifts for 10 and 10. Brian's using a nice little option here for a body weight option with that foam roller. Really helps you uh, really feel the technique, right? So you can do it with that roller, you can do it body weight, or you can do it loaded, right? Three rounds, maybe you do one round of each, who knows, right? The world is your oyster. Buy it. And then we're gonna go into overhead press, up to six and six. As always, when you have a kettlebell, you have options. You can be bottoms up, you can be waiter's press, all that good stuff, right? Have fun with it. Um, after that, we're going to do some elevated. Go to the bridges, blue 42. <laughs> He's going to get set here. Bam, drive through those hills, get those glutes to fire. We're going to rock that for about 12 reps. Mm -hmm. 12 reps. And then we are gonna wrap up this segment with some halos for 10 and 10. Kettlebell halos can be done in various positions. Standing, you can do them half kneeling, you can do them tall kneeling, you can do them in a V sit. Each of them have their own benefit. Again, mix it up, right? You got three rounds, maybe you can try something different on each round, right? Um, after that, we're gonna get into the super fun stuff, which is going to be a ladder. The ladder is gonna consist of five single swings or snatches. After the last rep or the fifth rep, he's going to stay overhead and do a get down, just like your good old fashioned get up, but starting from the top. Oh yeah. And then right from here, he's gonna go back up. Once he gets to the top, he has the option to park it, shake it out, and do the other side, or do a swing switch, as we like to call it in the business, and then get right to the other side, right? So, round one is five, round two, four, three, two, and one. It ladders down. So after you get those done, you're gonna superset that with push-ups. The push-ups go 10 on round one, eight, six, four, two, right? So, Whoa, watch out now. Watch out now. Look alive. Look alive. All right, so. Or modify that with a bent over row. There you go. Modifications instead of the push up, bottom bang. Always some options to get some stuff done, right? And that happens until you complete the ladder. Five and five, four and four, three and three. Ladder for the push ups 10, eight, six, four, two, right? So after you complete all of that goodness, we're gonna get into 40 seconds of some kettlebell carries. Um, if you're stuck in the living room or a small apartment in New York, you can just march. Just march in place, no big deal. If you got the room, take a stroll. You can rack it, you can have it overhead. Bam, you can have that sucker to the side. If you have double bells, you can have a bell in each hand, one overhead, one in the rack. I mean, the options are limitless. Today I did bottom up moonwalks. I mean, fall, uh, sickle. And then it's going to be 40 seconds of planking. You're going to do 20 seconds of a hollow hold 
a real nice hollow hold, nice and strong. You have all kinds of options here. You can mess around with your hollow hold. So that's going to go for 20 seconds. And then at the 20 second point, you're going to roll right over into a forearm hard style plank or a push up style plank. But 40 seconds of hollow holding and planking. Um, 20 hollow hold, 20 on the other plank, right? That happens for three rounds. When that's all done, you extend your hands and go one hand here, one hand here, and then you slap yourself on the back and tell yourself a good job. And that's that. 